We're at the Summit Arena visiting with Ron Jeffries, General Manager of the Black Hills Stock Show. The event gets underway officially January 26th, but already several events going on, Ron. Yeah, we started off with the uh, South Dakota Cutting Horse Association starting their event yesterday down at the James Kirsten Event Center at the fairgrounds. So we're off and rolling with all the pre-show events. And as you can see behind us here, the Sutton Rodeo team is getting ready to prepare the Summit Arena for some of the uh, Rodeo Rapid City action. Might mention that Rodeo Rapid City was recognized this year as the large indoor rodeo of the year by the PRCA. So congratulations to Rodeo Rapid City and the Sutton family, and certainly a great addition to have part of the uh, Black Hills Stock Show and Rodeo. Yeah, really great that the two events happen all at the same time. It is, and you know, we're very fortunate that the Summit Arena is here. That really gave the Youth Livestock Show a chance to get started here at the Black Hills Stock Show. And uh, when we started it three years ago, it just continues to grow year after year. We're very excited about it, and it didn't take long. We're at the limits of what we can handle in the Barnett Arena, too. So it's been a good, a good addition. Ron, what is the first major event? Well, we start off the show, of course, with the Farm Credit Services of America's Horse Sale. Uh, that's a two-day event that takes place down at the James Kirsten Event Center. Um, as that gets underway, we've got the Youth Livestock Shows. It'll take place up at the uh, Barnett Arena at the Monument. Uh, the Cinch Trade Show, of course, is a great draw in and of itself. Some of the best shopping you'll find, even in Vegas. I mean, this is fantastic shopping opportunities you have here. And a lot of our vendors are local people that you'll uh, get to meet and know and have contact with all year long. And then, of course, that night, the Extreme Bronc event that uh, Sutton Rodeo produces. So plenty of action starting this Friday. Well, if you're looking for entertainment, we certainly have it here at the Black Hills Stock Show. We've mentioned the Rodeo Rapid City and the PRCA Rodeo events, and we've talked a little bit about horse sale action. Of course, every night down at the James Kirsten Event Center, after any of our major events, we've got live music playing. A uh, great variety of Western acts that are coming down. Um, and I'll mention that at the uh, Tuesday event, the um, Ranch Rodeo, that starts in the morning with uh, the prelims and the finals that night. And then of course we end that up again with more live music. Uh, Bronx for breakfast, a great event on Wednesday uh, morning. First thing in the morning, you get up and have these cowboys and sometimes a, a cowgirl slips in there to come back down and uh, ride Bronx for a chance to win some prize money. And you can come on down and have biscuits and gravy and coffee and a Bloody Mary if you choose to and, and uh, enjoy a great way to, to spend a Wednesday morning at the Black Hill Stock Show. And then, of course, that Friday night, the 26th, is the wild ride at the Kirstead Event Center. Yes, after the first Friday uh, of the Farm Credit Services uh, horse sale, we've got a wild ride event. And that is where costume characters come out and get on these broncs and uh, want to win a little bit of money and have a little fun. And it's just an exciting and, and really a fun event to watch is that the wild ride on the first Friday, the 26th. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, musical options as well. I mentioned several times that there's live music, uh, both at the uh, Barnett Arena, at the Cowboy Bar, at the Monument, and then there's also after most events that take place down at the James Kerr City Event Center. Um, we have two major concerts. We've got Warren Ziders that'll be here on uh, Thursday during the show, and then we have Chancey Williams that'll be here Friday of the show as well for our concert series. And then we finish off the last Saturday with the Boots and Beer Festival. It's a great chance to come out and try some local uh, breweries, some of their best products, and then sit back and listen to Dirty Word out of uh, Minneapolis coming into play for us. Ron, this event means a lot to the cattle producers. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, there isn't anybody here that doesn't recognize that this show is made because of the, the livestock. This is a cattleman show. Uh, we are a great draw for people who are looking to improve their herds by buying genetics here at our show. So a lot of the shows are just shows. They come and they show their bull and their, and their heifers, and then they take those animals home with them. Here we sell those bulls and heifers so that you can have genetic improvement in your herd for all of our commercial cattlemen. Uh, so certainly the Hubbard Feed Supreme Row is a big draw. Of course, we've got nine different breeds of cattle that will be out here competing for the final championship round on the last Saturday. Uh, great, a great opportunity for our ranchers to come back in and, and look at some good quality livestock. Well, of course, the Black Hill Stock Show and Rodeo takes place at two major facilities here in Rapid City. Of course, we've got the Monument, which includes Summit Arena, Barnett Arena, Rushmore Hall, the Ice Arena, all of those uh, features that you know from being right in downtown Rapid City, and that's where a majority of the activity takes place. But we also have the James Kirsted Event Center out at the Central States Fairgrounds, and a number of both the quarter horse shows, the horse sale, concerts take place at that facility, and this year, We've included activities over at the Nerdy Nuts building. You might remember that formerly as the Soule building. Well, we've got a great uh, partnership with Nerdy Nuts here locally, and they've taken over that building, and we've renamed it, rebranded it, 
and uh, we'll have some events in there, including the horse sale check-in and the uh, Boots and Beer Festival on the last Saturday night of the show. And Ron, for more information. You know, we're always available by phone at 605-355-3861. But if you want a full schedule of events and access to tickets to all events, you can go on the website, blackhillstockshow.com. Looking forward to it, Ron. Thank you.